episode of What's in the Update. It's a big one and it's a British one. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So starting off with the core, we have saved heads up display settings should remain persistent between settings, uh, between sessions on console platforms. Various improvements to ensure passenger dioramas are visually correct. Fixes to textures and models for passenger handheld items and luggage. Localization improvements for rail driver controls. Fixes to ensure older versions of Class 66 Great Western Express and East Coastway correctly see the AWS and DSD is enabled when driving from either front or rear cab. Fix a crash instance when searching for locos that don't exist. For formation designer, the stats and save options should work as intended. Improvements to ensure all formations are spawned as expected. Improvements to ensure vehicle icons represent formation vehicle category. Various improvements to ensure the UI shows formations as expected. And fixed issue where class 375 formations could disappear after restarting the game. Scenario planner. Improvements to scenarios load and are playable as expected and create slash delete functionality within the tool works correctly without crashing. Free roam. Now this is something I want to see. If they fixed. Where selfies in high speed? There is. Uh, free roam. Improvements to ensure vehicles icons represent formation vehicle category. Livery designer. Fixed to prevent a rare crash instance when uploading an image. Now, what we'll do is, is load in. See if they have fixed the issues. If not, then that's, that's poop. No, they've not fixed it for God's sake. Well, that's not fixed. Boo! Terrible. Should we go talk about the East Coast mainline? I think we should. So. Let me load in. At some time soon. <laughs> Loading on that one. Track to load. Oh, that's loaded. That was that was. Uh... Right, let's look at what they've included for East Coast Mainline, starting with the 801. So all connecting elements, including gangways and cables, will now uh, connect between vehicles. Let me just start with the passengers. TTWS. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. 
Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that's connecting. It's connecting over there. Let's go and have a look over there. And a bit of the 166, though. But yeah, the, the 465 is there as per reality. Anyway, DVD slash DSD will no longer beep when train station, even when reversal is neutral. Let's find out. Yeah, that's been fixed, thank God. Oh, easy. GSMI now plays the correct sound and start when it did. When it enters test. Oh, it's broken. Um, added flange squirrel, we'll hear them soon. Fix an issue where glass would become opaque at certain angles. Added safety system scores are now correctly rewarded when AWS slash TPWS are enabled. Doors should correctly open by pressing corresponding exterior door open buttons. Pantograph should now correctly raise on rear vehicles up to 5 plus 9 car sets. Pantograph should now automatically switch when changing cabs. Let's listen to the flange. So we all want to hear some flange. Well, I certainly do. Oh no, I can't because I've got a red signal. Luck to it. That went through fast, didn't it? It's not stopping here then. Must be a whole train set. <laughs> to wait for this to... Uh... Blimey, he's making haste, isn't he? Wow. Well, or she, or they, I don't know, I do not want to judge. They fixed the numbering as well, excellent. some of that new flange excellent let's look at the 66 now
Six. Gunt folk. Um, right, as you can see, new TSW uh, rain effects, which should have been there since day one. S broken smoke particle for the diesel engine. Right. So, I notice any difference to be honest. Apparently the top marker light has been disabled from being a spotlight, which, yeah, I can definitely tell that. That is all. Oh, it's got something. I'm not going to bother going into it. Service 1 Zulu 72 should no longer spawn the player on platform away from the train. Next is Goblin Line, or... If you're a woke activist, suffragette line. Um, look at this one. Added missing PIS boards to Upper Holloway Station. I didn't even know there was any missing, but fair enough. Uh, Localisation improvements to various scenario dialogue texts. Again, I'm not sure what that one means myself. Is that the text boxes that appear during scenarios or... Text is in the in the game files for the scenario. I don't know. PIS screen should now correctly show in all vehicles. Uh, let me just get all this set up. TPWS and AWS operational. Thanks for that. Got the GSMR out. There we are. Throttle and brake ranges should now be accurately reflected on the digital display, which it is. Pardon me. Brakes will correctly apply at BO. Well, I just know that is between coast and uh, brake zero or brake one. And. Auto closing, auto closing doors should not lock under any circumstance. Doors should only lock when closed from cab slash guard positions. Just uh, checking the dioramas. Sure, right. Yes, there. Oh, Upper Holloway is next. We'll go and see 
what's been changed there. Yeah, it's pressed the wrong thing. Well done. that change? Please say that changes. Yep, it's gone out, the off indicator. Nice. Oh. Okay. I was over there yesterday. I'm just going to read the next ones out while we go because I'm not going to bother. Appropriate medals, this is for Cargo Line Volume 1 Petroleum. Appropriate medals will be awarded when completing scenarios. Vehicles will now correctly appear in Formation Designer. EWS Class 66. Improved clarity of the headlight bulb texture on the front headlight cluster. Improved visual placement of coupling using the hook coupler between 66 and other vehicles. Fixed colour of grille above cab windows on the Class 66 from being a lighter shade of red. Fixed issue with train length functionality whereby pressing button 4 had the wrong outcome. Actually, now I want to spawn... No, I don't. I'll do this instead. Um, T, VGT, wagons, tankers, whatever. Changed brake simulation setup from working as those the tankers are empty to working as though the tankers are full. This change will improve the rate of which players can slow down. Excellent. Added coupler stack and reduced buffer impact sounds per improvements to Blackpool TEA. Service heading to Colnebrook should now fill the correct weight in service mode. Cargo line volume to aggregates. Vehicles will now correctly appear in formation designer and minor localization improvements. All the PIS is, is here. So let's come out of that and head to the next route, which is West Somerset Railway. Right, West Somerset, West Somerset here. Yeah. <laughs> In Gala, yeah. Let's pick a Scatsman. So, this is only the Right, let's uh, get in. Find a nice table by myself. Right. 
Are we? It's only here, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna wait till uh, people get off, or I'm gonna sit in the. I'm gonna be the guard. Bear with me. Sorry about that, I had to take a phone call. Anyway, West Somerset Railway. All cars should drive on the correct side of UK roads. Don't want to sit with any of these losers. Um, players should now see leaves on all trees in the summer. Okay. Uh, sitting here. Just sit here and pretend to be the guard. Yeah, there's definitely trees on those. Li definitely trees on those. Li definitely leaves on those trees. <laughs> Added AI whistle triggers to all SW boards on the route. Now yeah, it's fucking gone. No, it hasn't. Added wait time is tall class 150 service to Bishop's Lydiard. Player spawning without a train on services at Norton Fitzwarren. Fixed service BL3 Diesel Guard 2017 timetable not moving despite a green signal. Class 52 AWS warning sound should now play and loop without cutting out. Class 333 reduced engine room noise volume as it was quite loud when near the low low. Dash with the window open at full throttle. 
Birmingham Cross City. Updated scenarios and services to correctly news the new TSW4 scoring systems. Nice. Class 323. Three. Stabling tail lamp shouldn't be replaced by AI in service mode anymore. Updated the 32.3 miles reward to trigger out 32.3 miles and not 3.23 miles. For the Regional Railways Class 323 three reskin. Added additional rewards that reward the player for deploying Hundlet a number of times. Hints. Rewards that I... LNC... I don't know what LNC means. Um... Stabling tail lamp shouldn't be played. Well, yeah, same, same as above. Same as above with the miles. And fixed headlights not being turned on for the AI RHTT formation. Well, look at the. Um, look. Southeast and high speed. Oh, it should sound the whistle. Okay then. Uh, fix the Who Dare Wins scenario on PS5 being incompletable due to a stuck 465 train preventing completion. Class 66. Safety system short score should now be awarded correctly when. AWS slash TPWS is enabled. Class 700. Increased volume of both AWS and DVD so it's now lo louder when in the caps. I'm going to save that one. Blackpool branches. Fixed male canopy, male canopy clipping trains at Preston Station. Class 47. Fixed run number on IC livery. 46461 should have been 46471. Great Western Express. Fixed an issue. So cargo line volume on petroleum service are correctly visible in the timetable menu. Glossop line. Fixed an issue where further objectives stop appearing after the lock the doors objective. East Coast Way. Class 377. Move the headlight lights closest to the front of the train. Fixed incorrect missive level press front material. Class 40, textures will appear as expected and not in the cab door rubber. I want to look at the 323 and the uh, main line. I'll save them for lost. But I want to see if uh, these do blow the hooter. Hooter? Whistle. Whistle. Jesus. That's, uh, oh, I didn't know there was uh, one of those over. Should blow the whistle here. This route looks stunning now. The whistle. Let's talk about Class Spec 377 on Brighton Mainline. 
Fixed rear doors on the class 377 being stuck open when spawning into a service. Fixed POS not being visible on TOD4 routes. Move the headlight clusters closer to the front. Mixed dim exterior lighting on the class 377. Fixed incorrect emissive level of PAS front material. 387 tweak to running noise audio to in order to make the tunnel slash bridge noise audible. Fixed PIS not being visible on TOD4 routes. Fixed text of PIS boards incorrectly showing full sentence. Finally, for an extra special treat. Um, oh, um, uh, it was cold. So let's. Have a look at the 323 and the yeah, extra surprise. Then I'll be signing off. Doesn't penetrate in. Not high. Let me get Let's uh, play some of it. You don't actually get any rewards, never mind. But... And finally, the piece of resistance. Let's have a look at the 387. Okay. Interesting. Where's the debranded delivery? I don't know then. It's definitely branded. Don't know then. Anyway, thanks all for watching and goodbye for now.